Ayo, hey, what is going on everyone? It is Emojang. Here back with a brand new video. Ninjago City Gardens. Um, today we're going to review the whole entire set. And uh, I'm glad that we're reviewing this. This took five days for um, small expertise in Lego. Thank you for the 14 subscribers. I don't know who you are. But I'll check in my YouTube studios, in my uh, computer room. Ooh, look at that shadow. So I'm using the AR on my phone for the uh, for the lighting. I hope you liked it because, well, you know, it sort of looks like I'm recording in the nighttime and I'm not. So, um a walkway a large walkway here it's gonna come on don't <gasps> okay sorry uh, can i just do my video in peace i record this like 14 kajillion times and none of the time anyone have given me a peaceful time and also, don't mind the background noise. So, uh, anyway, starting from the Crescent Bay area, here's a large bonsai tree. Um, here's a teal table for soy sauce and um, the tea shop nearby, which is not there. Uh, here's the large bonsai tree, a major support for the upper walkway and upper level um kai uh, i meant nia and jay dating so um, that's a touching for you know the college college kids or something can you not oh okay no people have ever in my entire life annoyed me so far with the review just a freaking review. Why uh, can't I get this battery? Uh, charging battery in there. There we go. Uh, here's another support. Uh, I like this. Um, so you have... Uh, Sand blue technic piece and then a weird invert of this piece, uh, building piece uh, with system bricks and uh, a lot of nice, you know, architecture for this uh, technic support. Uh, let's look at wrong, uh, let's look at this. It's the sewer hookup for the. I believe the noodle shop, the ramen shop, or the tea shop, um, with the sewer hookup here, and then um, you have a uh, water. This water, so power blast piece in this water color. Imagine they use brown color, but still, it's just clever. Using this water, they made depth. Um, uh, island, small, small island that look like algae instead of death. This look more like death. Um, uh, here are some, uh, what Asians like to call temple stone. You can see through with the AF. Oh, that's weird, but. Oh, you have a flower, a weird flower, a real, a weird bonsai tree, um, Oh boy, that happened in my last previous try of review. Fell down. Uh, there is a piece of giant marble stone. Uh, using a mini picker hat. Uh, here's another one of those temple stones. Let's look at this noodle shop first. Uh, so you already see that uh, sewage hookup. Here's the noodle shop itself. I mean, not bad for a small uh, ramen noodle shop. Um, you just have, you know, this this thing right here. Um, 
la old lady who um uh, makes ramen or something. Uh, here is the lamp. Have a small balcony supports. Nice that Lego thought of many figures. Uh, I don't know what that is, and I can't pronounce that. Um, it's just a good old ramen sh shop. Uh, you have some wonton soup, I believe, or seaweed soup. Uh, there, I can see, you know, all that stuff. Stickered awning using that book piece, um, book cover piece. You know, a small, um, uh, entryway. Uh, speaking of entryways, for some reason, this had to have an invert there. I don't know if that is a building fail of me, or it's just something else. It might be a, something else, because it just fit perfectly. Um, after the, all that, let's look into the interior. Interior, just some ingredients on that shelf. On this uh, large shelf, you have some, I don't know, herbs, dried herbs. Uh, ooh, here's a lamp for the second floor of this. Um, but anyways, a sink, and uh, there's nothing else on the other side, I believe. Just a door. And um, the cooking place and a, a ramen waiting for someone to be pick, uh, pick, pick it up. Here's Ryan's Pawn Shop. I believe I said I'm going to showcase this first, but uh, I changed my mind. Um, uh, the Ron's Pawn Shop, uh, well, why do I call it a pawn shop? Well, it have all, sells all different sorts of things in it. Uh, spoiler alert, this is an interior friendly, not an exterior friendly. So you have a sand blue just peeking out through that. Uh, you have black peeking out. You have this color, this uh, nougat color thing peeking out. Um, but the store opens inward. Um, mm -hmm, a faucet piece. So they use this flower piece and that to make a, a public faucet. You find that in many Chinatowns around the world. Uh, that I don't know what that reads. I'm not gonna translate it. This is supposed to be awning, but you know I just made it interesting. Here, uh, uh, Ron's maybe selling something, or that may be a Ninjago currency, coin currency. Um, without further ado, let's get straight into the interior there's nothing else to see but this and this giant architecture um this is actually just a large opening in the back so this face the back i i want to know if this face the front um as you can see there is this small you know basement lift and i'll show you the basement not yet um Here's a bookshelf fold with trading cards. Um, that is a way. Try to make it look like it's actually weighing something. Uh, there is the a fan cup, cup fan, whatever you call that. Um, now, ooh, Jerry, uh, I meant Ryan is um stealing this now from the Aqua Zone. Ooh, and he's selling a hat and a map of the Dark Island that is actually in his shop in Ninjago City. Uh, he, uh, he have a ladder for the second floor. Tea time, balcony. Uh, the, oh yes, the basement. Basement have this. Uh, stairs. A J-blade in there. I believe I saw that J-blade something. Um, gold, that might be some, uh, something he stole from Darius or Lloyd or Wu. I'll go with Wu. You know what, I'll go with he steal from Darius because, you know, he's always all that slapstick humors with, uh, kids. Let me put, let me put this on. I don't want to cut any camera on this 
vid at all. Uh, here's a box saying uh, Easter egg, actually saying Easter egg. All that in there is, yep, that color of one by one. Looks like a slime that had been dried for years. Oop, upside down, uh, uh, right side up. And that fits perfectly there. Next up is on top of the Roins um, pawn shop. You have this. Yep, tea, uh, tea time balcony. Uh, the balcony is actually uh, here. There's only one wall with the balcony, uh, two walls with the balcony, and this is just a uh, waiting area into the balcony or a stair, a stair landing pad for the um, ladder access below. Here is uh, some AC compartment unit, compartment unit, or whatever you want to call that. Some of this for the inside, so Lego didn't want it, this to be studded, so they did very good with that. A window, one window, and you, see, you can see the plant peeking out. Here's a window, I think that's a reference to, <laughs> to um, what do you call this? Um... I think this is a reference actually to the Ninjago City dog. But unlike the dog, this this can do this. <laughs> oh, jump off the balcony or something. It's funny. Uh, here's an overhang for the first floor. Vine's pawn shop. Um, nothing, nothing too exciting because you see this uh, type of overhang every day. Uh, the balcony. Uh, that's a teapot, two teacups, um, a minifigure that I'll go with a woo there. Uh, that two, pa uh, four paintings. Uh, uh, two painting on either sides, which make four. And you just uh, slice and dice, slice and dice, slice and dice there. Oh, yes, the tree actually have a bird nest here. And where's the bird? That's cute. I think that's a new style bird. Here, you have, uh, what do you call this? Uh, what do you call this, actually? Uh, this actually, maybe, yeah, this is, yeah, this is uh, the Ninjago fan apartment. I forgot the name. But this uh, dudette living here is a major, major Ninjago fan. As you can see here, she have a Ninjago poster right in her window. I mean, I'm not big of a fan outside Ninjago City. But, you know, I'm still a fan of it. Even though, you know, I just don't play it as often as she may and i'm not like a really big fan sorry for cutting the camera as i didn't promise uh, uh oh yes all these buildings are in a 45 degree angle and slightly in 90 because lego tried to make this you know as atrium style as possible and they made a good decision because not only it makes it more harder, more complex, more fun to build, but it makes it m more realistic. Anyways, uh, here's another window peeking into the lava lamp. Uh, inside, I'm getting so much spoilers. Here is the awning for this floor. I mean, that's basic. You see that every day. Um. A uh, flower pod window. This actually looks like a something that will exist in the real world. Just look at this angle. Mm. Uh, here is the window. Window. Uh, teal colored um, overhang. And this giant bar below. Inside you have lamp. Zane right there. I guarantee 100%. A nice and comfy bed that's in teal. Sticker, not print. Only a fraction of these things are prints. Um, here's uh, the Ninjago set. Um, in the shelves, in this top shelf, in the floor, in the table. This is my room. And the special sticker uh, in the first floor uh, in the old town, I believe. 
This is Ninjago City. That's a poster. Um, oh, yes, there's a sneak in here. So, okay, I may actually remove this. That's, oh yes, that's the lava lamp. Okay, I guarantee you that there's something under the bed. I just gotta pull the bed out. Oh yes, there you go. Um, in that bed you have, uh, you know, that just basic, um, I forgot, a dagger from nin uh, a ninja's fight or, you know, a model maybe. Oh, I feel so bad cutting the camera. Every video I gotta cut the camera for some reason. Oh, there we go. I'm starting to think that you guys are subscribing because of my slapstick humor. Comment that below. Comment that, um, in my... Ch uh, channel homepage uh, here. After that, let me cut it again. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, you guys are seeing slapstick humor. Da di da, ha di da di do 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 do. There we go. Uh, putting this never been so easy before. Uh, here's the elevated walkway. There's no access. Uh, there's no guaranteed access to this place. Um, uh, uh, this is the tree. You have the 10 years of Ninjago here. I believe I have every single minifigure but Golden Wu, which I put somewhere in my city. Oh, yes. Golden Wu was actually in my city. You can't see it, but uh, I guarantee you, here's our, here, this colored of lamps. I'm actually surprised that they didn't go with the old color, but, you know, it's still awesome. Uh, I'm not going to translate all these, but uh, I really like that. I, I really like them. So that might be something to change Noodle House. Power Miners, I'm just going to go with the key one. Uh, this might be something that goes with the actual Ninjago City set. Uh, Master of Nature, Ninjago City advertisement for that crab shop. Don't know what that is. This might be Samurai X or, you know, Golden Wu. Uh, Toys, Time Twins, uh, Prime Empire. Don't know what that is. Uh, and I don't know why that is in English. And, uh, yeah, that thing right here. That might be a, uh, you know, uh, snowflake, but it's an interesting build. Um, after that, let's go into the much in uh, in uh, interesting uh, elevated walkway floor. There's just one thing I gotta get you guys straight. This thing is removable. Also, I want to uh, talk to you about minifigures, like, right now. Minifigures, I'm going to explain, like, in a future vid, or in a future, yeah, just a future vid, or a future Lego Life, Lego Life, um, thing. I do have Lego Life. I'm trying to posting, I'm trying to post. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing it, but, uh, here is the Ice Planet ice cream shop, and it's, yes, it's that Ice Planet, and also, no, it's not that Ice Planet, uh, the designer think that this is his favorite, I mean, that's just cutesy junk, um, you have Master Boo's dog there, you have that mechanic cool thing that says upper floor so there's a stair access there oh oop, oop, oops oops uh, 
Wait, let me turn this. Let me turn. Let me turn. Uh, here I actually look a bit like Downtown Diner into this uh, Ninjago City set. Um, that's the sign for this advertisement sign. Um, that's actually really nice. It have whisk whisk out uh, on both sides, and I don't know what that spell out, but I may recall that might be. Ice Planet, uh, using the butcher knives. Yes, I said butcher knives in black. Those pieces. And they made it into awnings. Perfect. Um, door opens. Uh, it's better looking in this way. One of the better looking ones, uh, on the sides. Here it is. Ooh, 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 ooh. Here's the back, back access, I think that's employees only, but AC compartment, another AC compartment, stairs, nice interesting build with this, um, uh, nice interesting build with this place, ooh, someone must have dropped their ice cream school, real nice, real nice, um, you can start seeing the fill in, in there, also, this thing is removable. They also have a basement, but there's no access to it, and it's just blank. It's just a blank, um, pier instead of a blank on their Chen's Noodle House. Spoiler alert. Uh, is the overhang of, a uh, Jay's Stormfighter. That's very good. Um, next up, uh, this place is Chen's Noodle House. It's one of my favorites. You know what? It's, yeah, it's my favorite with the Ice Planet sh ice cream shop. Um, in here you have a uh, out here you have a table, a table, just a toy table, regular table. Uh, advertisement to bring out the blank, the dude that's working in here. Also, tall walls make it extreme. Oh, what did I forget in the Ice Planet Ice Cream Shop? Interior. Oh, sorry, guys. In here is just a uh, menu there. Um, ice cream, uh, ice cream cones dispenser, uh, ice cream scoops. Uh, I wouldn't trust any of these. Blocky pineapple. Um... You have two silver tone cup. I want more of those. And this thing right here, a cup. Um, let me zoom out. Tall walls make this extremely difficult. Um, but actually, here is looking like something that is found in town hall. But no, 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 sir. Look at this. <laughs> I mean. That's just mean. That's that's mean. That's mean. Oh, they actually use black sausage pieces as the overhang. Legos going cray cray this this year with overhangs and uh, mega hangs and overhangs and super hangs and bare hands and. Horror hands and oh my gosh, dare hands and pickle hands and pick your nose and they're going crazy. Uh, advertisement for inside, another advertisement for inside, but tall, false advertisement actually. A another AC compartment. Uh, here is simple. It's very simple. Yeah, a simplistic, um, uh, just a overhang. I don't know what that piece is, but I really like that. I just want a handful, handful of those. But thank for your 14 subscribers. I'll go to a thousand in no time. Here are some reddish brick for the bottom. Here, yeah, just glass for inside this coloration and the interior style is more of a chinese noodle and dumplings 
a place instead of a little house. And that pipe right there, yep, that's just a cup. Uh, in here, tall walls. <laughs> this is getting tall. I, I'm after this, I might have to put it on the shelf again and then explain them by one by one and then cut the camera. Ooh, it's getting dark by the second. Um, in here you have all that menu stuff, that cooking space, uh, J right there, the um, sitting area, uh, sitting area, wasabi, uh, 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 soy sauce, um, a bowl of ramen or, you know, noodle, or beef noodle or something, uh, right there. There's a painting, really looking like a Chinese restaurant, and a um, light. I'm actually going uh, to put this up, or else uh, the charger won't reach. And I don't, I would, <laughs> I'm not like that. Um, oh, let me switch side. Oh, that's Oh, that's perfect. Ah, nope, nope, that's not gonna do. I'm gonna go with my horse. Oh man! I'll explain uh, my 16 by 32 bit. Uh, 16 by 32. Oops. Later, but. Uh, oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I'll give it space. I'll give it time. I'll give it. Everything you want, I'll give it this, I'll give it that, I'll give it this. Ah, oh, give it my will! My will. I'll need this chair for putting on uh, other stuff. Next up, I believe, is the museum level. Yep, museum level. Oof, 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 oof. Collapsing, collapsing. Ooh, ooh. Oof. Here, museum level. It's one of my favorites. Um, I don't have exact pieces in here, so yeah. Uh, you might want to watch uh, Jane Burke's review this after me. Um, in here we have this is also removable. Um, plant, plant, students' uh, apartment. Uh, uh, it's a bit old shaky that it's in the alleyway with the painting in the museum. Uh, show that mechanism a bit later, but student fan apartment is one of my favorites. Um, with both interior and exterior. It's just simple, and it's nice. Uh, after that, you know, you, you have that trolls. Um, Trolls World Tour um, dress. I'm wearing boxer shorts, but they turn it upside down and then they sneakily put plants in them. Here's glass. Um, here is um, some, you know, architecture. Um, in here, you have a small TV, a 1930 style one of those. Plant. Uh, bed uh, under the bed there's a paint you can barely see that but there's paint here is an umbrella holder and the umbrella hides sneakily in there what's with the square pineapples in Ninjago City uh, here is uh, the painting in Ninjago City Garden well oh masterpiece I mean I could top that, but for a Lego, that's still nice. That's actually really nice. Um, but the colors ration is a bit off. Here's the actual museum. It's one of the biggest, uh, um, biggest building by itself. Uh, it celebrates ten years in Ninjago City Gardens. Uh, it's ten years in Ninjago. Um. It's also my favorite uh, in reference because there's a whole bunch of reference and a whole bunch of tasty stuff in here. And I'm actually starting to think if the designer likes this color of the teal 
on this color of the yellow school bus color but i have no problem with both of those color this actually looks like no uh, a mouth that says i don't want to go here um this whole thing is removable unlike the um what do you call that Cor corner garage so this is removable i don't want to remove it but i have to for you uh, for explaining a roller coaster piece with just a few add-ons to it here is the crab i think that's a uh, reference to crab shop in jago city set here is um a fiery dragon i think that's a reference to a future in jago city Ooh, tasty in the back here you have a telescope in this alleyway but it just have a two angle up down up down up down up down up up down <laughs> i'm just playing but here window lots of window stair access um uh door there's only one door and the door inside for gift shops for both exiting and entrance, uh, entrance. This is actually castle piece in this color. It it benefits in both a Lego and us. Uh, uh you have here um some uh, railings. You know, of this black. Uh, I don't know. What do you call this? Handcuff pieces and these plant pieces. <sighs> Uh, it, uh, in, in, after that, in here, there's a lot of stuff in here, but in here you have the, uh, the Temple of Argensis scaled into under about a, a <laughs> nanoscale. Uh, here you have a, a, a gift shop, um, check out, but a bunch of paintings there. A replica of the Realm Crystal. A really, really a big hit with the Moro season. Uh, here goes in. Um, there's a map. I don't know. Of Ninjago, probably. Um, uh, a dragon. The most. I. I it, you can't see it from this, this angle. This angle. Just can't see it. You just, uh, so that's uh, I'll show you uh, through the window sometimes. But there's a dragon. A uh, picture of Sensei Wu. I didn't know that you can slide this into a treasure chest. But uh, they did. Um, you have a dragon piece in there. Um, you have a. a uh, Kai's, uh, Kai and Nia's mom and dad. Um, you have Nia or Kai right there. I'll go with Nia. The coloration, uh, reddish brown. There is the uh, compass piece on the shelf. Uh, I think there's uh, other things in the back. Um, here you have a steak staff. A, a piece of the war with the time twins a long time ago and there is a destiny a replica of the destiny's bouncy that doesn't look anything like it but anyways cut the camera cut the camera um and the put this
Okay, there we go. Sorry for cutting the camera again. But uh, I believe putting the other stuff will be, you know, easy as, uh, easy peasy. Uh, easy as cake. Uh, next up, I'll explain the Zun Garden. It's one of my favorites in the unwalkable walkway. <laughs> Above the museum level, um, here, you know, it's just a garden using, uh, it's just a house using, you know, oh, oh, <laughs> most of the building, most of the bricks actually goes into the house. And most of it actually goes into the roof. Um, the roof is really nice using this treasure, black treasure chest piece. You can lift it up. In there is, uh, just a orange space helmet. Ooh. And, uh, right there are some roller skates. Let me touch this down. Um, in this space, you have a safe. In that safe is supposed to be a teal colored cheese slope. And the teal colored cheese slope is just right here. I'll put that in. And that is actually a present piece made into a safe. And this safe door, I don't want to bro bro break in because this safe door is thick. Like, I mean, thick. Um. Anyway, uh, you have here, uh, overhang some here, some architecture. Uh, here is, um, b cherry blossom. Ooh, spoiler alert. Cherry blossom from, from a cherry tree that have fallen Kai, uh, Kai and Zane. Uh, step onto the Zen garden, into this lavender, uh, brown uh, lavender and brown colored house i really like it and uh, windows can open and giving it some life giving it some life uh here is a teal table with a plant in it and else after that i'm gonna put this Ooh, tasty 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 <laughs> Zane fell down. That's a long fall, actually. <gasps> no, no, no! Don't fall down! Don't fall down! Don't, 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 don't. Sorry for the long extension of this video than it should be, but yeah, now every video I'm trying my best. The best, the only the best is good enough. I mean, that's what Lego say, and I mean, it's good to have that anyways here's the skylight for the museum uh, i've never seen a bigger and beautiful skylight in my life um in lego <laughs> i just fell and they told me that they just ran away so knock yourself out that's my that's my reference. Anyway, um, all that talk is um extending this video and all that cut. But here, here is the um unicorn unicorn piece, you know, round piece, uh, more round piece. This I think is a new piece. Uh, so it's a stud there, round round and it's stud there and you connect two and then you make a perfectly nice um angle there in here they actually have an exhibit uh in the the exhibit is some sort of skeleton i forgot that name and i forgot the season where it uh, is supposed to be but i do know it's uh, I'm supposed to be in Ninjago. here's the cherry blossom tree uh, it's just nice. Like, that's a rock. That's supposed to be a rock, and this bonsai is just thrown into it. It's just nice. I'll cut the camera again. I'll try to fix this whole entire cut the camera thing with an actual camera after I hit, like, 50 subs or something, you know. Get my 
myself a goal. I mean, I already passed my 10 sub goal. And I mean, I'm grateful for that, you know. Kumbaya, you know, or whatever. Well, but great things, a great thing with me. Because I hit my first goal, 10 subs. And getting 20, getting 100 it might be even easier than I thought. Uh, it won't be, but let's get back. No more trash talk. We're almost done with the set. Under one hour. Um, here's just the ninja hideout. I want to say ninja arcade. This is the back. This is the front. Um, this is uh, they went with the tr also they went with the tradition of posters. And they just did it a sticker, a giant sticker into this clear panel. Um, there's more in that area. I'll show you later. But here's Space Police, uh, one of my favorite ones. Uh, saying, you know what? All the one is my favorite, but this police um, is a reference to the minifigure. Here is a ladder access, so you gotta climb your way in or. Uh, do that it's a bit weird how you can climb in uh you can t turn this gear I, 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 I don't like turning that gear i like just regular just pulling it down using the uh, brick heads piece right here and some teal color and this color oh, and oh they made a real interesting bunch of fence um here is a giant orange fish, uh, just a goldfish, regular goldfish. Uh, so they went into the tradition of bringing animals into New York City, and that's real interesting because they use the super, uh, the Goomba Super more in the Super Mario theme, and they put, turn it into this color. I mean, it's great. It's this is almost a hundred percent exposed. But here's a telescope. This is more like some more better than the one below. Uh, here, uh, here it's crammed in here. Um, but you have, uh, you have a comfy armchair. You have Cole trying to beat this video game of Prime Empire. Uh oh, Cole's gonna get sucked in again. Um. Uh, a hat rack, and, th uh, and this, a painting of the ninjas, there's no Kai, and it's weird, it's just really weird, here is, uh, you know, an arcade that's actually moving, so they also went with the tradition of mechanism, and system bricks, and then technique that can actually work, so I'll just do this. And in there, the two, uh, one by two, Lloyd is defeating the Great Devour. It looks more like high, but, you know, it's video games. I can play this all day, let me say. Let me say. Let me say, I can play this all day. Sorry for cutting. You know what? I don't even need to cut. I kind of need to cut, but I just need to bring this here, over here and just slap it in. Um, God, God damn it! Uh, here is so. Uh, here is the uh, Ninj Ninjago uh, Tower. So it's Ninja Tower, whatever you like to call it. I like to call it a Hideout Tower. Uh, you know, Ninja Control Area. In here is the secret room. Oh yes. Here's not an overhang, here's just a, a bit of a skylight, a Japanese style skylight. In here you have Jay's costume, and you have a bunch of posters. This one says, um, the wilderness things, and a reference to minifigure series. This one is my, my favorite, Metal Adon, or that's what I think it says. Met the attack of the metal adon. So these are obviously movie posters or 
playground posters. In here, there's actually another thing in here, but I don't want to remove it. There's no, uh, there's no stair or ladder or any access to this place, but I can just, uh, you know, imagine that London just um, fly in or something, you know. Make up your imagination or mock it out. And there's just a control panel of Pyth showing Python and then the small ninjoids, as you can see, uh, a map Ninjago control. Uh, control stuff and a seat that's it um and this large ma katana i mean a real oh yes i forgot to show you this one by two wood texture and teal new coloration but well, not new piece too sad that we didn't get that for a new piece oh gosh after that let's go into the 16 by 32 plate uh, uh it's my favorite small build in the uh, 20 bags um so you have death you have lily pads you have bridges you have water a canal ways you have this large island you have a temple in red gold figurehead down there architecture black uh things uh small lloyd uh, you also have a bunch of flowers knocking about. You just, you just have everything. And, of course, this is the memorial for Zane. So, you have a statue of Zane right there. That actually also kind of has a mini figure. And I like it. So, after that, I won't ask you guys to subscribe. But, please subscribe to give me 50 uh, subscribers. And, I'll I'll... I'll do a video game channel. See you guys next time.